second low down. Keeping it a bill, that ain't no doubt. Much love to the homie, every city know me now. More crowd, pressing issues in the positive. Locked out TV is way better than they thought it is. The interviews is solid facts, talking about your troubled past. What you did to change that shit, doing better is the plan. Homie keeps a solid point, combo lit just like a joint. Better yet, just like a brew. Locked out TV. What's good, fam, bam? Welcome back to another episode of Loked Out TV. You already know how we do it, man. We're going to keep it loked out, no doubt. For real, coming at you with another loked out banger. In this episode right here, we're going to be talking about King Yella. Bam! He got smacked with that Louisville slugger. Oh, man. But check it out. Before we jump into the topic of the video, I'm going to need y'all to keep it all the way loked out with me. If you haven't hit that subscribe Hit that subscribe, it's highly appreciated. Also, keep it locked out, hit that like, and most definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all the latest locked out content as it drops. You know we stay dropping content, and you already know we're going to keep it locked out. As you see, we, we are in the warehouse. It ain't stopping nothing, man. So hit the comment section and talk your shh. Because that's exactly what the comment section is there for. I know y'all going to have a lot of sh to talk about forklift drivers and all that. I'm going to let y'all know, man. I drive, a, I drive a cherry picker, not a forklift. But the forklift is passing by right now. Anyways, let's jump into the topic of the video, man. King Yellow. Man. He's been in, you know, the YouTube algorithm on different subjects. One in particular that pops in my head when I hear King Yellow is when he was all on the internet talking about how the essays busted on him right they busted on him and he jumped straight on the internet and started talking about it now in this recent event right here he was kicking it with a a youtuber and i forget his name my bad i forget his name but he's on the uh, thumbnail um and what is that fool's name it doesn't matter i don't know his name anyways so the video i'm sure y'all seen the video if you haven't seen the clip go check the clip out it's out there. Uh, this fool's running around. <laughs> He's on his camera like this right here. Oh, ah, oh, G, G. They just, oh, they, they just want me, G. They just want me, G. They got me, G. G, G, they got me. Look at my mouth, G. And he's spitting out, you know, blood out his mouth. Talk about, ah, oh, G. He hit me with the bad G. He hit me with the bad G. Ah, 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 ah. Check it out, man. First of all, <laughs> and he's blaming it on the YouTuber that he got hit, allegedly got hit in the mouth with a bat. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it all the way locked out with y'all, man. Check it out. First of all, it looked like this fool took one of those uh, fake blood capsule capsules, put it in his mouth, and they were like, "Okay, here's what we're gonna do." We're going to do this, bro. You're going to act like you just got hit in the mouth with a bat, whatever. And you're going to pop that blood castle in your mouth. And you're going to run around and... You go, ah! He, G, 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 ah, G, G, G. Okay? That's what you're going to do. And it's going to make people go crazy. Especially people that don't know. Especially people that don't know. So check it out, man. If you've ever seen somebody get hit with a bat, let alone... In the grill, in the face. What kind of bat did they hit you with, King Yella? What kind of bat did they hit you with? It didn't do no damage, bro. That's why I say he had one of those fake blood capsules in his mouth. He popped it. Jumped on. Second. First of all, let's go this route. First of all, who's going to get hit in the face with a bat? And then jump on his phone and start going crazy on IG Live or where, wherever the video's from. You know? Who's going to do that? I ain't never seen nobody get hit in the face with a bat. I've seen people get hit in the face with a bat. I've seen people get hit in the face with bottles. I've seen people get hit in the face with all kinds of things. I've been hit in the face with brass knuckles. And I'll tell you, well, back then they didn't have phones like that. But it doesn't matter. The point is, if we did have phones back then, my first thought after waking up from getting hit with the brass knuckles wouldn't have been jump on my phone and go live for the world to see. You know what I'm saying? Come on, guys. Everyone is thinking that's a real situation. Come on, guys. Who's going to get hit in the face in the grill with a baseball bat and then be able to go IG live with all his teeth still intact? 
Either that dude didn't know how to use a bat, or he didn't get hit with a bat. That was a fake blood capsule he popped in his mouth, and they made that up to have everybody going crazy. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy. Whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Come on, man. Some things is just, there ain't no way, y'all. That man still had all his teeth gee, spitting out fake blood. That wasn't real, bro. He had all his teeth. It didn't even look like his lip was really busted up or nothing. Nothing was really busted up. Okay, nothing was busted up for a baseball bat to come encounter, to, you know, come in contact with your grill, with your face, with none of that. None of this was was busted up for a base, bro, a baseball bat. What kind of baseball bat did you have, bro? What kind of, whoever was swinging that baseball bat, bro, you did a terrible job. You don't deserve to have a baseball bat in your hands, no more and i know about baseball bats because that actually used to be back in the day that actually used to be one of my choices that used to be one of the things i love to use was a baseball bat for many different things but it was never for softball softball or baseball and you can ask any of the locals that rode with me in that black 64 i usually kept about three baseball bats amongst other things in the ride with us ready to go that was one of my go-to's one of my go-tos, guys. So that being said, comment below. Let me know what y'all think about this crazy situation. You know, comment below and talk your shh. Because I, hey, talk your shh. Because I'm talking my shh right now. Anyways, comment below. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Share the channel. Let's run it back up. You already know what we're going to do, man. We're going to keep it locked out, no doubt, for real. To the next one. And I'm out. Locked out TV, thought you knew. Keep it G and keep it fly.